I feel like songs like that, they age good because people had experiences, whether they was in high school or college. Like people always be like, man, college, like this song, I don't mm. need it. you know what I mean? To where now it's like a lot of the songs and hits now, they're so new. Like people haven't had time to really like have ex crazy experiences to them and live with them. You know what I mean? Yo, this guy look like a kid, man. Is it me? I don't know. This guy, is, this guy's a child, man. What's wrong, man? I'm 32, dog. Yeah. I'm 32 years old. <laughs> Hello, this is Mike Tyson, and this is another episode of Hot Boxing. And I'm here with the one, the only superstar rapper, my man, Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? With you. <laughs> yeah, I like that. He wanted to do that for a while. Like, he's been roaring all day. That should be like my drop before yeah. I come out on stage. Hey, dog, yeah. <laughs> So, man, what's going on, man? I'm just chilling, man. You know, this is my first podcast I've ever done. Yeah, that's what's a oh, trip. Really? Yeah. Hopefully we make sure you, this won't be your last. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've been staying away from podcasts. So. Nah, this I mean, is a good you know, one right here. Yeah. I mean, a guy like you, you keep all your information, you know, you're, you're very conservative and you must have the best... Like uh, you know, social media controller, publicist, because you you know how to get out of it. Man. Yeah, I, I try to be a uh, super control sometimes. Oh, so you you actually control it the way? Yeah, you do, the way no, I'll be shit. doing. I do all my like Instagram, social media stuff. Oh, shit. yeah. I don't know how to get on Instagram. Yeah. What? I don't even know how to get on Instagram. So who posts your? Shit? Oh, it must be my wife or somebody. Else. <laughs> <laughs> who posts my? Baby, <laughs> have a team. Got a team. Do, do, do you understand the narratives and all the backgrounds and the tech part of it, coding and all that crazy? Does the Tiger do all nah, that nah, shit? Nah, 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 oh. nah. Because, uh, you know, they, I mean, a guy like you, I mean, you have so much, like, haters out there. The more haters you no, get, no the more money you get. Tiger. Tiger, you got haters? He's always been dealing with haters. Just How do you know? You just... You just dropped I mean, yeah, the interview this before. Year. We went through this. That was a long haters. time ago. Yeah, was super long like, time ago. Yeah. But he has like, lovers now. They don't hate anymore. Nah, no haters, no money, right? No, I think, we, I think you, make you know, you get, you get used money. to, like, navigating. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. when you've been doing it for so long, it don't even, <laughs> it don't even really, you know, get to you. I mean, you you you, you bypass that. Like, yeah, you just, I don't, I don't, I don't really even see all that stuff. I just focus on, like, I'm really like zoomed in on what I'm doing. Or like, you know what I mean? When did you come on the music scene? I think I was like 17. Yes. Wayne signed me when I was 17. Yeah, I remember I met him. Wayne was down with you. Went on tour with him for like a couple of years and straight out of high school. Wow. Yeah, that was it. And that was like Carter three time. He was like recording Carter three the whole time. So I'm like with him on a tour bus going city to city. You know that was I mean? an awesome experience. Huh? Yeah, it was. It was. I just learned. I learned uh, the hustle because, like, Wayne's not a person that he don't. He don't really like talk. Not much at all. Much. You know what I'm saying? He's not very like. No, I know he's quiet in the corner. He's yeah, he's out. very like. You know, so you got to kind of like just pick up on his ways and how he moves, and you know, I feel like the worth ethic I learned from him. You know what I'm saying? It was like whatever he was doing, he made sure whatever city we was in, it was like we're gonna be at the studio till noon or 1 p.m. the next day, mm. like all night, you know? You, you see these days a lot of rappers are complaining about what they, um, you know, where they're at now, they ain't making no money or blah, blah, blah. You never like had that mentality when you were with Wayne. You always was like, you kept nah, it separate. but you gotta think the rappers now, like it's different. Like these, like now it's like kids make some, it's viral on TikTok or mm. they don't really, they don't really have like a, they're not like seasoned. There's no like artist development no more. So I feel like for me, being around Wayne when I was that young, that was like my artist development. Kind of learned like how to move and like, you know, the the patience. Like now it's no patience. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So like somebody can get like a hot song and be out and they'll be making 30, 50 grand a show straight mm -hmm. out of high school. Or So it's like, you, you can't tell these kids nothing. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like for me, I've like, I feel like I've been... And it for a long time, probably like what, fifteen years, maybe now or something. So I'm just, you know, you in the DNA now. You good? You feel know I me? Mean? You, you could just, be anywhere. You could be anywhere on this planet, and they know a tiger song. And just staying consistent and just yeah. sticking to what 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 you like to do. You know. Where you originally from? L.A. L.A. Yeah. yeah. Born and raised. Yeah. Cool. Was it too fast, like dealing with Lil Wayne, like you know, with, with the I mean, the women, the the, the the money, like was it too quick? 
Nah, because you're seeing everything at you seeing everything in real time at a high level. So you kind of get spoiled. You like, you know what I'm saying? You get spoiled. Mm. As far as what, like you, everything first class. Well, you just oh, you you looking at like you looking at like the you, you like the greatest, the biggest rapper, especially at the time. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So you just see in life like how he see it. So you just expect that. You know what I'm saying? Which I feel like it pushed everybody, whether it was me or Nicki or Drake or you know artists and Young Money, it pushed everybody because it's like this is the level we got to do it at. Did did he put y'all in in competitiveness like when y'all were in the studio? All the time. Oh, All the time. Yeah. Like, whack. Get the f out of here. Change this shit. Yeah, Nicki would bring in beats. He'd be like, these beats is whack. That verse is whack. Like he'll, you know what I'm saying? And I just, and, and kind of for him, it was like, if we all sit in the studio, it was like, you better just be writing a verse. Cause he won't say nothing. He'll just play the beat and then he'll go in there and do the whole song. You'd be like, damn, he just wrote that in his head. Wow. Just sitting there. So and then he'd be like, You got something? So you can't you ain't just sitting in the studio. That's pressure. You're man. not sitting Shit. in the studio like just he waiting for something. him to like, you just write. I'm just in the studio just write like while the beat is on. So when he be like, yo, you got something? I got something. Oh wow. Uh, or or you're not gonna be on the song. So it was it was a different time, I felt like how he was doing, but it helped everybody, you know what I'm saying? Get to the level they at. It was a huge click, Mike. I mean, did did y'all tell each other who's gonna make it? I mean, usually when you have a big clan like that. What was crazy, what's crazy up. is so like every girl was like the first single on uh with Young Money and Drake was on it. And me and Nikki weren't on that record because mm -hmm. we weren't signed to Young Money. Wow. We were like, hey, I was I was around though for like years, but I never had signed. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And it was like, they got this next song they want to put out. He had a beat. And he was like, yeah, but you, you I got to sign. I was like, all right, I'm not missing this one. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'll sign. You know what I'm saying? So me and Nikki got on Bear Rock. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Do, um, do you think that was a good move? Yeah, for sure. For sure. I mean, I mean, you can always, like, be patient. You know what I'm saying? But, like, times like that, it probably never... We'll probably never have that kind of synergy ever again from like big artists like that. Mm. You know what I mean? I mean, do you feel that because y'all weren't like successful yet, y'all 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 became one for that one moment, but now it's different because y'all made it. I feel like people be signing to people now, but like just off based off like what they can get. Like mm. as far as the clout, like everything now is like just clout. You feel me? So you gotta think. I was like a Wayne head, like. Every mixtape when I was in ninth grade, eighth grade, every mixtape that came out was like, oh, new Wayne, new Wayne. So it's like you're around somebody that you're a fan of, so you respect. You're a fan of them. So you listening to whatever they say. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I feel like now like people aren't just like super fans of the person. They're just like, oh, this person offered me this. Uh, I'm assigned to him. Well, was there ever a fight that you watched that Mike fucked somebody up? Like the whole clique was like watching, like <laughs> oh highlights back back then. Oh, yeah, we like, always like, watch highlights. Yo, bro, how, how was that? <laughs> how was the highlights back then? Like were y'all screaming like when he was killing? What you mean, just yeah. watching highlights? Yeah, and shit? <laughs> yeah. bro. Like you, you legend, the highlights man. are very like harsh. When you watch those shits, well, it's better than, very than me. <laughs> but it's but it, but also happen. it's inspiring too because it's like you need to see people with that kind of energy and that fight in them. You know what mm. I'm saying? It inspires you. Like, I got to go hard. I got to, whether it's, it doesn't have to be like boxing, but it could be whether it's music or like fashion. It's like somebody that was really passionate and cared about The same it. desire. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I can get knocked out cold. He can get a bomb wreck and it's still the same pain. Mm. It's that you adrenaline. Know? It's just still that the same tempted, pain. You know? How'd you guys meet? He did my daughter's Sweet, Sweet 16, 16 party. That was like maybe... Ten years ago. What is she now, baby? What? How old is Ray now? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Yeah, so that was. Wow. That was probably like twenty thirteen. Eleven years. Yeah. Twenty twelve. Was it, was that the first time? It was the first 16th, time. Yeah. First time. I was nervous. That's too. the night. That's the <laughs> night Whitney <laughs> passed away too, right? Yep. Same Whitney night. Whitney Houston passed away that night too. Mm, wow. He probably you probably don't remember, but like, so you introduced me. I was nervous. I'm like, all right, like, I don't know the vibe. Like, what's what's gonna be the vibe? Like, you know? So you introduced me, but you didn't bring me the mic. So I had to go <laughs> on stage and grab the mic from you. I'm like, oh, the song started. Like, I gotta start rapping in like two seconds. But he's still on stage. You still I'm on stage high, and you man, and high, you're holding I'm the high, mic. I'm and high. I'm like, damn, should I just grab the Hell mic from no. him? Or? 
I'm <laughs> sorry. No, nah, but it was, it was, it was good, though, man. I had a good time. The next time, the next morning, I, I walked my daughter to school and everyone knew about it. The principal, everybody was talking about it. Administration right. office. That's tight. I said, don't not Tiger. They said, no, Tiger right now? <laughs> I mean, you had all the... That's all tight. the white chick songs, man. Like, <laughs> oh, they love him. You saved my life on on the road, man. After parties, party festivals. vibes. Yeah, you can't go wrong. I, I'm I'm interacting with you in a few festivals. Yeah. I mean, where do you see it's going now? Like, you know, I see your your festivals, but I mean, your tour is coming up in Australia, right? Yeah. yeah what's your future tour. look like? Yeah. As far as like music or just me? Yeah, it's life in general. Yeah, man. I mean, I definitely like music is something I'm gonna always do. You know, I, mean, I, I want to like start signing artists now, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I just, I want to like, you know, I just feel like, I feel like when you put, when you love love it so much, I love it so much that like, it's like an obligation. I want to see other people with that same passion. So it's like, I feel like I've learned a lot, but I'm still learning. So it's like, I want to put people under me now, whether it's like, because I'm always finding like new producers or artists super early. I just never really had the business side of it because I really mm. wasn't, I, I didn't really care about the business side of it. I was like, I just want to create, make hot Put it out, you know what I mean? Yeah, it feels like you do it. He does it like effortlessly, like, you know, like, I mean. I don't overthink it, though. You don't, right? Nah, I don't really try to be like nothing I'm not really like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be like. Which song is you you're not trying to hear anymore, but they still want you to perform it? <laughs> What's crazy, everything still works. So it's you still, still play, there's not a song, you know, how, you know, 50s like in the club. Uh. Nah, it still works. It's still nah, in the club, people love that song. They love that song, but you know, you, when you have that first hit, I, I don't get like that. Though. You don't get like I don't that. get like that. It's some they, they play that hear now. I dance the um, in the club. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because the and it's like song. I feel like songs like that they age good because people had experiences whether they was in high school or college. Like people always be like, man, college like this song. I don't, mm. you know what I mean? To where now it's like a lot of the songs and hits now they're so new. Like, people haven't had time to really, like, have ex crazy experiences to them and live with them. You know what I mean? Yo, this guy looks like a kid, man. Is it me? I don't know. This, guy, <laughs> this guy's a child, man. What's wrong, man? I'm 32, yeah. dog. I'm 32 years old, man. Yo, he's talking about just, kids grew, like, he, his music grew with the kids in college and growing, like, he has... Why you got to think, like, yeah. 10 years ago, 10 years ago was Rack City. So, that's like, what I'm saying, man. That's like, like, you know what I mean? So people, yeah. you know... Yeah, we couldn't wait to hear Rack City, my kids. You used to turn up to that, Mike? Like, Rack, Rack City. I like Rack that, though. I can see Mike saying that Party was shit. crazy, though. The Sweet 16, them kids was turning up. I think it was in, it was in what, D.C. or Maryland DC, or something? yeah. Yeah. Did you have to watch some of the lyrics? Because you'd be having, like, some crazy shit, man. Nah, them kids, they just, they wanted how it is, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> they're singing the lyrics. Like, they're singing the lyrics. Yeah. Oh, word? Yeah. Nah. I mean, when he's not cursing, they're cursing. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Oh my God, man. Uh, your new album, man. Like, can, can we put that? Can we? You have the, the video for the new record? The, the, the twerking one? one? The, what is it? The booty shit? The booty dancer. Twerking, dude. Booty dancer. Can we play booty know, dancer? Dude. Teach Mike about Juicy and Freaky, right? Huh? I said Juicy and Freaky. Yeah, play booty dancer. I want to see what I just put that out, what, last week? I want to see that one out. Yeah, I want to see Mike react to this. We did like a carnival, like Halloween kind of vibe. There you go. Dancing, oh, I like this. Bad bitches in a mansion. Man, got some bitches in a Uber, they just landed. Man, it's my lifestyle, nigga, I ain't planning. No, ain't a bitch. Oh, dude, what? Just dropped this last week. Yeah, last week. Club vibe shit, you know? Crazy, 
Hey. Yeah. Crazy, bro. What do you think, Mike? I think it's pretty fly. So, so, that's, that's what shit you turn up in the club, man. Song tough, huh? Effortless, right? How long you took you to do that? Like, what, the video or the, the song? The song. An hour or something? 45 minutes? Quick, man. Hit maker. <laughs> Yo, Mike, man, is, is that type of song you'd have in your whip? Like, chilling? <laughs> like, you know? You can do that. You can do that, right? You can do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, club vibe. What about you? Nah, this is... No, this, come on, man. Let me book On uh, Friday. This Friday, Hakkasan. I'll, I'll send you a video. Oh, yeah. That's what I do all the time anyway. You know Hakkasan, too? Yeah, residency. I did Hakkasan last week. Oh, so you, oh, you did Fridays? I did uh, Friday. You went in Vegas, right? Yeah. 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 So, I mean, come on, Mike. I like Vegas. Let's turn up this Friday, man. Yeah. <laughs> hey, baby, when I go to Vegas? <laughs> wow, right on time. All right, so you, you hear this, right? Hakkasan. Yeah, right? Saturday, Hakkasan. I'm at Marquee. Yeah, Hakkasan. Right. Hakkasan. Oh, yeah, Marquee. Okay. Saturday. But you in the, what, daytime? Like, Baby's oh, okay to go to Hakkasan, right? Yeah, Hakkasan, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be there, guys. Oh, my God. Doja <laughs> Cat, man. I was at the work with Doja, man. Like, I know a lot of people want to wonder how the relationship. She, uh, what's crazy is, like, I've known her for, like, a long time. Like, probably for, like, eight, six years. You know her since the cow song when she had that crazy mood? Before that, before wow, that. Wow, really? Yeah, before that. Holy. Probably 20, 2014. Isn't it bugged out, like, all the artists now, like, doing Doja, Joe's Doja Cat songs? Like, they want to smash her or they, they want to get at her. Like, isn't yeah. that crazy? <laughs> they be shooting their shot publicly. Oh, yeah. Shoot that shit out. I don't like to shoot my shot publicly, though, you know. You seem to be a very happy guy. You, you've ever dealt with, like, in your life, like, like depression? <laughs> this guy's always happy, man. I don't know, man. No, nah, I'm just chilling, man. I'm, you know, beating the system, I'm happy baby. to be beating here. The system. You know How do you block that? You be like, psh, psh, psh. Like, you've been through a lot of shit, man. For like, sure. But like you said, you've been in it so long, you just evolved and... Hmm. Certain shit just don't bother you like it used to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, there's Certain ever point. been a point where you're like, this is unfair, like this is some unfair, like, damn, how do I get out of it? But then you do. I always tell this, we, we life talk is about unfair. Tiger, like, we get right. out of that. Life is unfair, so hmm. we all got to deal with the backhands of life. It is what it is. Life is just a blink of an eye. Hmm. We, we can't even anticipate our next breath. Any moment we can go <laughs> over over. Man, it was a very powerful uh, note right there. But it is. I don't know. I just don't see this guy crying. I don't see him like, you know. Who's that? A tiger. A tiger. Oh, you know, man. I see him crying and <laughs> Why would you want to see that? Why, why, why would he right? cry? Yeah. Why would he do that? Like, oh, that, that? That humanizes us. Like, I cried yeah. the other day. But he don't feel like being a human right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, I felt bad the other day with the, I mean, with the PNB rock shit. I felt fucked up. I knew you the knew guy. him? Yeah. I knew the guy, but. It's crazy. How is it out there? Being you know, in LA, do you have to deal with this too, or you move different? You just you know how you just gotta know how to move, man. Mm. You know what I mean? I mean, we've seen many people just happen to them, like, you know. Yeah, LA just, LA is crazy. LA is crazy right now. But it's crazy because like I've you know, I've been here my whole life, so it's kinda like certain things I don't even invite in. I don't even mm. touch certain things. You know who the troublemakers are, yeah. huh? You just know who to avoid. I mean, you can't even invite people in your home anymore in L.A. In L.A., huh? I mean, he's your friend can't today, but he could be your enemy like six months from now. You know, it's kind of crazy. I don't know. I, I, I feel I feel L.A. has been on the, the, the level of like uncontrollable chaos. I'm man. glad I don't live here anymore. Damn. Yeah. I mean, you. I, I can't see Mike wearing jewelry out here, like getting iced out. Like, Listen, but that's ain't nobody f***ing Mike. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, nah. listen, man. Nobody. 
for my Listen, I'm the people. first guy that started blinging. I was blinging in 86. Um, what was this guy named? Oh, you had uh, a go-to jeweler at that time? Oh, man, yeah. Oh, it was the baddest guy. Bad than Tiffany, bad than, than them all. French guy. Oh, wow. Yeah. I used to have all that. It's everybody. It's the best. I had it all. I had it all. I had it all. That shit. And just as I got over, it wasn't me no more. For sure. Wasn't me no more. But you yeah, actually... I would lose and steal shit from me. Mm. I, it was too much. And it's, it was just, I was too high all the time. So I would lose shit and steal shit. You know? <laughs> but I asked you earlier, in this day and age, would you wear jewelry and go out and eat, like, publicly? Yeah. See? Even Mike says no. I just don't have no purpose for it anymore. That's crazy, man. Is it? Do you feel hip-hop is the most dangerous job to have right now? Being a rapper is, I yeah. think, for sure. Thank God, man. But you've been in the industry for years, so you know yeah. how to maneuver. You know the rules. And you make your own rules, too, as you go. For sure. Mm -hmm. You know? You know not to never let the, anyone know where you live at. That's why I was bringing it up. You can't invite nobody. Well, that's some L.A. thing, I think. I don't, I'm not going to talk about L.A. like that. But <laughs> surround I mean, it can happen anywhere, honestly. Yeah, you know I, think anywhere I think it's just cool. being aware of like your surroundings and know how to move, you know? Especially, you know, this guy has the best OnlyFans, man. So I don't know. OnlyFans is going to stop all the naked shit. What are you going to do? You got to start your own shit? So I tried. So like two years ago... I started working on doing like my own platform. Oh wow! Yeah, but it's just a lot of like a little. Uh, so there's a lot of like back stuff, you know what I mean? That's like making it difficult. So just coming up with like different ideas and still seeing if I want to do that or not, you know. At the time, I was really into it, but now I'm just like, yeah, I don't really yeah, care that much crazy for it. Cash at that, yeah. you know what I mean? But this was like pandemic. Everybody mm -hmm. was in the house, so it was like get creative. You know what I'm saying? Do something. Do you feel that you raked in mostly more than the average rapper? That's why everybody be popping off on. I did well in the pandemic as well. Yeah. Oh, you did You did OnlyFans too? Huh? You did OnlyFans? No. Oh, um, I was like, what? It's weed products. Yeah. Oh, like, okay. No, but he's like, his was popping, you know? Everybody was Yeah, it popping. Yeah. I had I a company that too. like had, had to manage like um, a lot of different girls and stuff. So we like did all their pages and all that stuff. For a minute, it was. I mean, it was fun. Mm. It was fun. Who you want to hit out there? You said what? Who you want to hit out there? No, we can't. You know, we, ne we can't kiss and tell. You know, <laughs> <laughs> just check it. Cause then if I, you know, if I put it out there, you know, you know, we gotta no, keep it. Say Mike the perv again. <laughs> <laughs> Mike pervin out again. I mean, what's the worst thing you've seen girls do around you that you'd be like, yo, this is too much, man? Like. You, are you not surprised anymore? Like, are you desensitized? Man, I'm, 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 I'm not surprised anymore. You're not man. surprised, like, right? You see it at all, bro. It's just <laughs> every day, is something, you know. Yeah, because you know, I, I mean, I'm not gonna snitch on the rappers, but a certain rapper I know, his DM is ridiculous. Like, sending shit. I mean, imagine yeah. your DM. Yeah. Like, if I had your password, I just you want to look DMs at my DMs all day. Hey, you know, I could imagine. Do you want to look at them? Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's <laughs> Master DM. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what it's for, though. That's what Instagram is, is for DMing and stuff, mm. you know? Oh, my God, man. This is crazy, man. <laughs> That's good stuff. That's good stuff. The Young Money days, man. Like, uh, you know, the process of getting production done, like, did, did you take some of those producers from that era and they work with you now or you nah, have your own? Nah, I don't even really know those producers. Oh, so they just gave you beats. And you Independence just, uh, is the best way to yeah. go. I, I, I like thing. finding like new kids, like new young people that like really ain't worked with a lot of people. So it's kind of like you can get in with them mm -hmm. and you can like create a sound. You know what I mean? That's what I like to do. How about feature wise? Like, th does that person have to be your friend? Do you have to deal with politics of how this guy got beef with this guy? And... Nah, not really. I feel like you just got to do what's best for the song. Like, I, I like to, I feel like I don't try to put features on like a lot of stuff. Mm. I probably like I like to wait for like the right record or be like you know this person sound dope on this. Mm. Well, uh, sunshine. Speaking of features, uh, Pop Smoke, man, uh, how was that put together? Was it a, a cool relationship with him? Back yeah, then? so we did. We had did two records before he passed, um, and then one of them, 
it was a conflict on it. So I was like, it's cool, take me off of it. I ain't oh. tripping. Somebody else didn't want me on the song, right? So it was another artist. Oh, wow. So I, uh, I was like, it's cool, I ain't tripping. Like, whatever, let's just do something else. And he was cool like that. Um, then we did another song, and then uh, we finished it, but we didn't finish the final song because he had passed right before the album came out. Oh, wow. But he had texted me, and he was like, yo, I want to put um, a Latin artist on it, a female artist. Like, who do you think? And I was like, shit, we should put Carol G on it because at the time I was she like, does, Carol G popping, let's mm -hmm. put her on it. So we ended up putting her on it for the album. And then I did another song with him and Quavo that they did that I'd hopped on later. Mm. And then the record Sunshine was a song that he did because um, my boy used to do like all his A&R and stuff. So he did a record for him like, and then he had the verse and we just put it on there and it was like, it just made sense. Wow. Uh, knowing him, like, what, what was your, the way you looked at him? I mean, he was oh, he was, cool, he was out of here, bro. He was, yeah. he was different, bro. He was a star, like, his whole vibe, you know what I'm saying? He would have, he definitely would have changed, like, rap as far as, like, what it feels now. Because, like you said, he, it was almost like when 50 came out, mm -hmm. like, it was super gangster, but then, like, he started doing Melody and started doing those records, and those records became bigger. Wow. I feel like Pop Smoke, too, like, his, Melodic records is bigger than his like street songs. Mm. You know? Who's your best rapper? Oh shit. Probably say like Prime, Eminem, Wayne. They're my two probably favorite. You know what I mean? Oh, that's good. That was crazy. You weren't in the Biggie and Tupac situations back then. Were you into them when you were young? Um, not really. I yeah. feel like Biggie was smooth, a good storyteller, but like I liked I always liked Pac's energy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I always, I always liked Tupac energy. But even though I was like too kind of young to understand why it was happening in real time, I think later as I did research, I was like, I always liked Pac energy. You know what I'm saying? Just overall, just overall rap. Star. But, who, but who's the guy that created Tiger? Who'd you, who made you? Who did I take from? Yeah. I think being around Wayne, I studied the, uh, like, I always like Nas Flow. Uh, we be getting Nas a lot on this, on yeah. this podcast. Because Nas right? Flow always was like classic. It was clean. It was like monotone. It was like very, I feel like very just hip hop. Like when you want to learn how to rap, like it's just, that's what it's hip hop. You know what I mean? Oh, wow. And then like, I like, I always like Jay Z. And like Eminem's pockets, like how they like how they go move in and out of a beat or different tempos, you know. How come you never? Um, because you just you still are young and mm. still look young. How come you never like dwelt on the new sound that's out there, like all that weird like they be doing drill, that. the drill, like yeah, it's like, a drill. <laughs> Not really drill, but they do. They have their own like 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 the heat. drill is cool. Yeah. What you mean? Like what beats? Like like Yeet and uh, you yeah. know a couple of, like Playboy Cardi, like those kind of sounds, like more. Rock it's not stars. my style though. Yeah. I think it's cool. It works for them. You know what I'm saying? Like and it's cool. Like I'll listen to it. Like I get the vibe. It's very like it's very like mosh pit rolling mm -hmm. loud. What the hell you talking kind of about? Like my son love that. Shit. My son is ten, oh, but that's what he listens to. Like he mm -hmm. likes that vibe. You know, he likes those like those kind of beats. He be turning up to your. Nah, not really. Your son don't turn. My up son, to he shit. listens. Nah, come on. No, he listens to like. It's weird because he makes beats now, but he listens mm -hmm. to like. They're almost like robotic, K-pop kind of beats. Whoa. It's like a different, whole different vibe. Like, it's just way different. You know what I'm saying? K-pop. I don't know. Like, even my niece listens to that. Like, yeah, she's black. I'm like, yo, you don't even know what they're saying. It's just different, man. But a guy like you, dude. I mean, I'm surprised that you. Like you see it being young, you see your young child. Like I, I look at my kid different. I, I just take his, I just take his. Like if he likes it, if he thinks it's hot, I play it. Mm. But you're, you're an artist though. That's why I wanted to ask how you look at it in a different way. Like do you, do you think like oh, next three, four years from now, is this really gonna be, um, the next the way? Or, What's crazy? Or, I saw Lil Nas walking out earlier yeah. when I him, but he was the first one. That's how I discovered who Lil Nas was through my son. So my son, he was he was playing the old town, uh, the old town road song, yeah. and I was like, "What's this country song he keep playing?" And he was on TikTok, and I was like, "What's TikTok?" 
he was playing it all day, all like not all day. And he was like, yeah, he has a concert in Roblox mm -hmm. in like two weeks. I'm gonna be there. I'm like, you're gonna be there. Like, where is it at? Wow. But it's like on the on the it's like on a computer. Like, mm -hmm. It's a video game. So, but, but that's you got. You gotta listen to the kids, man. You know, for sure. How do you listen to your kids, Mike? My kids are my boss. They, you know, what I mean, they run me. What? Yeah. So they tell you you gotta listen to this song. You, you listen. Listen, whatever they tell me to do, I do. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Yeah. Well, what's your favorite album that you released yourself? Like, well, what's your favorite? Like, you know, out of all your discography. I think I like I think definitely like my new one, you know mm. what I'm saying? But I would say like the classic. I like title. the classic like mixtape vibes. Like I feel mm. like now, see, it was it was different. Now everything is like made for like streaming. So whether the length of a song just like is more melodic or mm. cause it's streaming, you know what I mean? And I feel like when people was making mixtapes, when it was like, I'm making this to put on Dap Piff or mm -hmm. live mixtapes or hot new hip hop, it was it was a different sound you feel me it wasn't like you wasn't thinking about oh is this gonna stream or this is gonna be viral on TikTok. like you didn't have that mentality so i think like your mentality is like very important to like the sound of the music like whatever you make you know and some people are making records to be to go viral on TikTok. some people are making records just for the club some people are making records for the radio some people are making records just to like be on some hip-hop freestyle rap shit, or trap shit, you know or are you into the two minute rule? You know what the two minute rule is, Mike? I have no f***ing idea. A lot of the songs. I don't. Are... Well, I nat naturally, I don't like making long songs though. Okay. Yeah. I like doing like, I don't even do sixteen bars. Like oh, I do. Oh. Like I like twelve, twelve, oh, okay. two verses. Boom. Yeah, I mean, Mike, we we came from the age where three, four minutes would be like a Big Daddy Kane song. You know, like every beat by Cam, it'd be three long verses. Three sixteen. Yeah, ridiculous, right? Yeah. Now, it, some some songs be like a minute twenty, minute yeah. thirty. Maybe eight eight bars and then the hook, and that's it. <laughs> but like you look at like that song, the uh, the Doja song, the yeah. Central C record. Quick, like that's a loop. That's crazy. That's quick. It's like a freestyle hook. That's it. Hey, what was your what was your um, adolescence like, like when you were younger? What was your life like? What was, what was it like? Brothers, sisters? No, nope, only child. Only child. Wow. So. That's cool. Yeah. Shit. Only child. So I was really like always to myself, but I felt like um, that's how I got into music because it was like a hobby. So I would go home after school mm. and just like make beats and then like record myself and then that's it. You know what I mean? It was like my hobby. Man, it's, it's amazing how everybody did things just for love, and then you see where it turned into. Was like, yeah, there was no money thing back then. It's nah, like you, you wanted to be to... famous, you wanted to come out. You see, like whoever you're looking at is popping. You want to be like that person. Now it's like more technology is like the way you 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 verify how you like an artist or whatever. Oh, they got they got money. They just bought a and you. Can that's buy why. That's that why it's not a lot of feeling. Yeah, like you got a Rolls you Royce. He's hot. You know, he got all that yeah. jewelry on. He's hot. Like, but I think still people still gravitate towards like what's what's a feeling like, you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. you hear like a Kodak record, like Super Gremlin, or like they know, they know the feeling behind that. They know who Kodak is as a mm -hmm. person. So when you hear that song, you just know everything he's talking about is real. It's the feeling, you know. It's still it's still a lot of artists that go, that that give you that feeling, you know. I mean, you're there's something mysterious about you. Like these guys, their life is on. Internet. Yeah, but I but your first but everybody different though. Like some people, some people will comment on everything. It's gonna go live every day. I don't want people to know what I'm doing every day. Mm. That's just how I am. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Yeah. Mike, Mike don't post on Instagram. No, <laughs> he don't, don't even on his Instagram. I don't know how to post. <laughs> I don't know how. But it's good though. Some some <laughs> things is just you know. Uh, how's your current relationship with Drake now? Everything's cool, or I mean, so I went. I went to. Uh, they had the Young Money reunion in Toronto, and I was out there. Okay. But um, I think he had caught COVID or something. Mm -hmm. And then, um, mind you, we was partying all weekend. Wow. It was like Toronto is crazy. Yeah. I, I, I did like I did a uh, Caravana and like Rebel, <sighs> so it was crazy. I did like the pool party daytime, oh Rebel gosh. at night. And then the next day we were supposed to do the the Young Reunion, and then they canceled it. So mm -hmm. I left, and then I had to go to Europe. And oh, then okay. they announced two days before, like, "Yo, we gonna do the 
show this weekend. And I'm like, damn, I'm in Europe. So wow. I couldn't even make it. Mm. But I was there the first weekend. So everything is cool with you guys, man. You know, yeah, the, yeah. I don't, you know, they, they, they always bring it up, yo, know, how's this relationship? I think, I think because, like, obviously we, um, we came up in the same camp. So it was like, when you look at it like that, you're like, why this person doesn't have songs with this person? Or why doesn't... Mm. You know what I'm saying? But I was going to ask that too. A lot of people always wonder, like, why is there not many? Because the rappers? thing with me is, like, I don't force nothing. Like, me, I'm not going to, like, I, it's not even an ego thing, but for me, like, I'm not going to, like, I'm not going to, I won't sit in the studio. I feel like I did that with Wayne. It was like, I'm going to sit here all day, all day. Like, I'm not going to sit in the so studio. So it's organic. It's more like an organic. Yeah, like, for me, I'm just like, whatever works, like, whatever flow. I feel like I did that mm. sitting in the studio, waiting for the verse, waiting to get on the song, like, I'm just in a different space to where, like, I'm not, like, I'm, I'm not waiting. I'm just doing my own thing, you know? Mm. I mean, you you stated that um, in the beginning you were amped up to be down, but then the business part came in. And you see Lil Wayne dealing with Baby, like, you had your own little thing, too. So I, did that wake you up with the business side? Like, holy yeah, shit. For sure. Yeah. yeah, you look up and you like, you're like, damn, I, I sold this many platinum records, this record, and then it's like... Damn, why am I not getting paid from this? Mm. Then you start like, you know what I'm saying? You start looking into stuff and then, you know, but you don't never want to be the first one. But I just happened to be the first one to come out at that time. And then yeah, like Wayne came out and then they figured it all out. But now, like, I've been independent for like the last five years. Fire, yeah. You gotta think I made the biggest song in my career up to date independently. <sighs> and I own all that, masters everything. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know? Once like you start that, moving uh, on your own beat, your own pace, you don't, you know, you ain't, you ain't really worried about what everybody else is doing, really, you know? Do you feel like you're one of the lucky ones to figure that out? Or, I mean, some people have horrible deals out there, man. Yeah, but independent, man, that's the way to go. I, I tell people, why are they so thirsty? Yo, I'm signed with this label, this label. Because like, it's, it's, like it's, 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 just that, it's just that instant gratification, like, oh, I just signed to this label, this label. I'm the man, like, yeah. But the minute you're not hot or something don't work. Oh, they're out. The machine is shut they down. They're going to pick you up when yeah. you're hot. You know what I'm saying? But So it's he better just to have a... slaves to people. Yeah, That's exactly. all they're accustomed to. They're not accustomed to thinking for themselves. They want somebody to think for them. They want somebody to get their money before you do. You know, it's just... Um, and a lot of people don't know the formula of, of like, no. okay, putting a song out. Now I got to mix and master. Now I got to shoot a video. Now I got to put it on Apple, Spotify. Then mm -hmm. I got to... A lot of people don't know all the, you know. Ins and out. Yeah. You deal with contracts, Mike. Like, when did you wake up? Like, Excuse me? When did you wake up in the contract world? You remember my, that day? In my 40s. Oh, that's when you figured it out? Crazy. Damn. Was it like a new lawyer or was it like? My wife. Your wife she taught me, put, yeah. put you up to speed. Wow. So this is generic. I own everything now, everything I own now. Wow. They're the biggest um, cannabis company in the world. Everything's mine. Killing everybody. This is um, the, uh, the pandemic um, helped me greatly. Freedom is the, the, that's real freedom, right? You could drop your shit when you want. Your fan base is in. No pressure. You got billions of views, streams. No pressure. <laughs> you don't you don't look at what others are doing, right? Like nah, it don't okay, matter. Just... And it's like everybody gonna get their time. It's like you gotta be mm. patient. Like yeah, no doubt. Everybody about gonna get a hit. Everybody, everybody gonna, gonna be get hot. Their Thirty seconds, but they see fifteen seconds of fame. Yeah. Fifteen minutes. It's everybody a marathon, get it. though, you know? But 50, all fifteen minutes is a lifetime. <laughs> Man, are you are you happy that you're not part of that stupid joke, the Kardashian curse, and all that nonsense they used to bring up back then? I don't really want to talk about Kardashians, but I had to bring up the curse. Shit. <laughs> those I mean, people, not, those people are not bad people, the curse. Are they? Huh? Those people are not bad people, are they? They're not <laughs> bad people. I think, I think what the problem is though, you gotta understand it's like you come if you like come from a different world, their world is different. Mm. Like it's like if you if they say if they wanted to become artists and came to our world, they wouldn't know what to do. They wouldn't last. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it'd be critical. So imagine going to their world. As a rapper or, or somebody else or like a different, you know. Oh, explain their world to us. I mean, their world is like, it's, it's gossip. It's Endless like, corridors. Yeah, Endless. it's different. So 
<laughs> coming from like me, I'm not a person that like I don't like to be filmed all day. I don't mm-hmm. like to put everything what I'm doing. So if you have a certain kind of mystique as an artist, in their world, it may not be good for you if you want to keep a certain mystique, you know what I'm saying? But if you're, say, if I was like, you know, if I was like on Love Island or if I was like a, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I came from that world of, Love Island. You know, but I'm saying, yeah, if I came from that world of like drama and oh, stuff yeah. going oh, into the world, it like would make that. sense. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I think sometimes like it's a different world, it just don't make sense for certain people, you know? Mm. And then once you get attacked, you like, what the fuck? You know what and, I'm and that world is just the demographics is all. Over I would the place. get no, nothing done if I had a um, reality show. I'd be too high. <laughs> I would get nothing done. I fighting with the crew. <laughs> you never been Lamar Odom? He's 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 crazy, man. He felt the same way too. Like it was just overwhelming, too much. Yeah, man. I met him a few times. Yeah, it's too man. much, man. It's like, and I'm just surprised to see Kanye and uh, you know like. Travis Scott, they even deal with that kind of stuff. And they're different individuals. Kanye obviously is like more crazy, but Listen, Travis nothing's Scott wrong is wrong with the Kardashian. They're just an acquired taste. Mm. Exactly. I mean, it's safe to say that it helped like with a lot of your shit too. Like it's not like I mean, definitely, it, yeah, yeah, it put it put a light. It definitely put a light. It's put a super light. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But it was still on me to like do what I need to do to to reclaim my independence and like who I am. You mm. know, some people that oh, because you gotta think people I'm that knew me that. before that I was in that situation. Then there's a lot of people that like didn't know me from before that, so mm. they only knew me for this situation. So then when I left the situation, came back, dropped the biggest song. You can, yeah, it's, a it's rap. like I know you were like you know what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> I, was thinking, oh, I know you, man. I know you were going crazy, like I. <laughs> Crazy That's when you become Mike Crazy Tyson. Good. Huh? Crazy is good. Yo, Mike, Mike is the type of person, man. He 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 instills like the part of like fighting, getting past certain fucking obstacles. He got me. I think ever since Warrior. I came on this show, hey, I think Warrior. differently now. Yeah, you have to. I don't think the same way anymore, Mike, because of you. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that's about. I know. I know survival. You know. Yeah. And I know by being successful in that field of survival. I have to be. I have to want to be up more than anybody wants me to be down, and that's how I succeed. Mm. Real talk. You're the only child, and you you have any family members that stood by you or helped you? Or? Cousin, your uncle. Yeah. yeah, like uncle, mom, close friends. So they they, they help you even during the worst. The like. You yeah, know. for sure. I mean, because those people are gonna be there, whether it's up or down. You know mm. what I'm saying? Is, is there anybody that ever hated on you? A family member is like, you ain't gonna make it. Get the out of here. There's always that one weird family member that just be like trying to hate on you. No, I think friends. I think friends, like people that have, from my past or like growing up, that didn't understand the vision. Mm. And then you, you know, you got you kind of get used to like. It's not really cutting somebody off, but it's like I, I'm going a different way. Some people just drag you back. You That's what happened to me. I went a different way. Yeah. And a lot of people ain't cool with that. Like when you, you know, when they feel like they're getting left out or, but it's like, she got to put yourself first, Mm. you know? Are you spiritual now? Are you like more connecting like on some faith? Because you said you brought it up before, hip hop, it has to be a catalytic moment to pop off. If this is not your moment, your moment might happen next week, next year, it don't matter. that's, That's how hip hop is anyway. But I mean, it's a, it just it depends on what you justify like a moment, like a hit song, like all right, cool, everybody like, but I can still go do an hour set. It hits. All oh, hits. <laughs> so it's like it's a, it's a, like you said, it's a marathon. It's like you know. So you're a DJ, huh? Unfortunately, yeah. I mean, but I don't I don't compete myself with people. Like I said, I think differently. Ever since I came here, I decided to create my own energy. I move in my own, like I stop looking at what other people are doing it. Cause when you get in that cycle, man, it's just like you become jealous for no reason. Like I, that's why I don't be on Instagram looking at other people's shit. I'd rather just get my own shit and I li- and I just dwell yeah, in my yeah. own. You know what I'm saying? Like Yeah, that's how I mean, you but that's, be. That, that's natural though. If you see a dude got the new fucking Maybach, you're like, damn. This the, you go get the Maybach. Like, but now if you if you if you think different. You're not worried no, about it. You just what? got to. You in got some more, countries, you got more purpose to what you're doing. In some countries, jealousy is looked at differently. It's looked at as inspiration. 
in certain countries. Mm. Only in our country is vicious and vindictive. Mm. I mean, I don't go that far. I just, you know, I just feel like, damn, man. You know, there's other DJ. You know, every DJ is just a Khaled, like naturally. You know what I'm saying? Because he got the Jay Z hookup. He got all that mm. shit going on. So you naturally gonna feel a certain way when you. Khaled, man. But I, I love. I, I respect everything yeah, you do. But yeah. it's just a natural. So he became. Even if you're a rapper. Oh, you feel like you like. Khaled damn, became? I should be doing it. So I don't think I should and... be doing it. I just like, damn, like. But I don't. I don't dwell on it, so I could be feeling fucked up for myself because I just did some cool things that I think for myself yeah, yeah, is cool. Yeah. I, his his life, you know, his his fate or life is, yeah. is is whatever he's doing, and I'm doing whatever I'm doing. That's how I look at it now. I don't. Yeah. I can't be doing all that. I be hanging with Calvin Harris, like this nigga in outer space. You think I'm gonna be like, damn, I wish I was Calvin Harris? Nah, thank God I know Calvin Harris. Thank God he's cool with me. I look at it like. You know but what also, it's people that they put a certain work in. I'm saying that you ain't put the same work in as a Calvin yeah, or something, yeah. but like. I mean, are you willing to like jump on your car in the middle of the freeway? Are you gonna jump in the pool like Khaled is willing to like promote that <laughs> song? You feel what I'm saying? But yeah. that's what makes him him. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So I feel like everybody's uh, limit and boundaries are different. You know. Mm. Yeah, but that's what I learned on your show, Mike. I'm a new person now. Who, Mike? I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad. He I'm, has a psychological thing. Yeah, he, I'm like, capable of yeah. inspiring you to be a better person. The world. I appreciate that. When I, saw, when I heard you say the world in one of the shits, I was like, yo, I'm like, nah, man. This you shit. gotta the world because at the end, the world's gonna definitely f you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a really good right there, man. Jesus Christ. Who's, who's gonna create your sound now? Like, you, you said you kidnapped some producers or? Some young I got, bucks. I got a couple of young kids. Oh. Like homeboy, what about homeboy? Um, Lil Nas X. Nah, I, I never worked with him. You never worked with him? Oh, oh. okay. He's a cool dude, man. Yeah, he talented. Yeah, wild interview. Learned a lot today. He's fun. <laughs> and that, I mean, I, I, I could see like some cool songs coming out of that, shit, man. But what would be a good feature coming out of your? Is there a feature you're working on or a surprise or an old head that you used to be with? Oh, it's crazy. I, I put um, Snoop on the album. There oh, was wow. a record that, and I've, I've never really worked with Snoop, oh. ever. And I've known him, but I've never worked with him, which really? is crazy. Yeah. For like years, right? Like, yeah, I never worked with him. <laughs> That's crazy, man. That's yeah. going to be on the, uh, on, on the new show that, that you came out with. Yeah, no, a song that we just did. So it'll probably be on a new album. If I, I might put somebody else on it too. When is it coming out? November 18th. Mm. Around yeah. the corner. Yeah. In, in the click, do you mostly are cool with Nikki or like who, who who's the usual suspects? Like, I mean. It's, what do you mean? Like, am I cool with like. I mean, uh, socially, you talk to more? socially people, it looks like you. you I you, feel like I don't talk to like the usual suspects every day, but I feel like when you see somebody, it could be, it's like somebody like Chris, like we've mm. done. Hella records together, but I don't talk to them every day, or I don't hang with them every day. You know what I'm saying? But like, certain people, you just you you got a foundation with that. When you see them, it's like no time lost. You know what I'm saying? Oh wow. How's the relationship with Baby? Like, uh, you ever had a relationship with him? I know you were like in a sub sub label situation. Uh, when I was like younger, yeah, I feel like. What was that like? It's interesting because it's like, like they don't talk a lot. Like, mm -hmm. wing, baby, like, they just don't talk a lot. It was one cool time, though, like, we was in New Orleans, and then Birdman was like, yo, come meet me at the hotel. So I go to the hotel, and then he got his Bugatti in the front. And he's mm -hmm. like, yeah, ride with me. And he wanted me to just, like, ride with him around Chocolate. New Orleans in his car. So it's just me and him in the Bugatti. And it's just so funny because it's like, I didn't even know he knew how to drive. You know what I'm oh, saying? <laughs> you feel me? So, like... It's just so weird. Like, we going through New Orleans, he takes me around, and he's, like, driving, like, 10 miles per hour. <laughs> so I'm just nervous. You want to be like, 10 miles? He's driving <laughs> super slow. Like, I mean, he's, like, driving like this. Like, is that weird, two hands? It is, it is weird. You know I'm, like, drive, huh? I'm in the Bugatti for the first time, yeah. and I'm with Birdman. We going around New Orleans. He's supposed like, to be just 120, baby. <laughs> Like he's driving hella super, super slow, like super cautious. Like, what? So it's like moments like that is cool, though, you know? I mean, I, I like when baby get on records, man. I used to do like the mixtapes back in the days. I think I probably have the only fitted video. They said baby freestyle. stole money. Yeah. Huh? The word is out that baby took advantage of Lil Wayne. 
I'm just putting it out there. I was gonna. Hey, my man, look at Rick that. Rick Flair look drip. Look at that shit, Tiger. Look at that shit, Tiger. <laughs> the only Mike Tyson has Ric Flair randomly coming through there. Hey. Yeah, yeah Tiger. <laughs> so what's going on, man? What you doing now? So we got the new album. Who you working with? Who's on the album? Um, on the album so far, we got Chris, Snoop, Party Next Door. Mm. I just shot a video with Offset. Uh, two what days about ago. the City Girls? They good? Well, I did a song. I think it's on their album. Yeah, yeah. I got a song on their album. Yeah, they cool. City Girls. I like their energy. How's the Offset song? Uh, it's crazy. a vibe. It's a vibe. Yeah. I mean, is the he on that, is he on that kind of vibe or? Ooh, nah, it's that, vibe. It's, that, it's that kind of vibe. Oh, word? Yeah. Man, his style will go perfect with yeah. the type of beats he picks. It's definitely fast. Like, yeah. you know, I don't really like doing slow records like that. I like doing songs that I could perform. That's people crazy. Got, like, have fun, too. He got offset during the so-called split up, whatever. You know, Migos is... Wow, so that's you, got, you got this... You got Why did offset. split up? You got offset on the... I think this... I mean, I've heard a lot of different stories, but, you know, mm -hmm. I think you get to a point to where, like, certain people just want to evolve. I mm -hmm. feel like Austin has a different vision or Quavo, he has a different vision. And sometimes when you get that big, and I feel like I couldn't be in a group, mm -hmm. but I've always been a solo artist, you know? And I feel like they're individually solo artists, but they were placed in the group. So now it's like this person got records. He got this fan base here. This person is doing this. So I feel like it's, just, it's not the same vision, you know? And then probably like, you know, Mike, where am to the, the the guy from uh, Young Money? The guy with the crazy haircut, like yeah, like a, a Gumby cut. What's... From Young Money? Yeah, he's the youngest. Little twist. Like, twist. Yeah, what happened to Twist? He be he be still around. He's still around. He's still around. Yeah, like some yeah. wild cut, right? I don't know. Man. Still, still, still dabbing in music. <laughs> she's like, what? I'm pretty sure he's still doing music. Yeah, he's yeah. still doing music. I haven't well, spoken to I can't him. Can't imagine Mike to the, turn it up to Twist though. That should be crazy, man. I never heard this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I like putting Michael Blast, man. She's That's like fun. Comedians, man. No idea. Oh, yeah. my God, man. So this tour in Australia, man, can, can, can we get tickets? Because I think I'm in Australia sometime. Sure, you know? it's crazy. It's my favorite place can to go. Get, your bike. I'm getting ready to go, too. You go to Australia? Selling right? weed out there, man. I got my, oh, my, my brand out there. Oh, yeah. And then Serbia. What, Tyson Tomorrow's going to Australia? Going to the Balkans, Australia. I'm conquering the world. Got to. So let, we got to go on stage when he's out there, man. I'm going December, which is, uh, I say, summertime. It's like the best time to go. Yeah, it's like 100 degrees smoke. out there. Yeah. Smoking. You got to you gotta, uh, perform all your new joints there, or you just, you know, What's this uh, right going here? overseas. What's this? Yeah, like, a couple. Oh, that's a little twist right there. That's him? Oh, so you don't have that haircut no more? Twisty. Ah, oh, shit. I thought, he, I thought he still had the... Nah, he uh, up for real now. That's 10 years. That was 10 years ago, man. Oh, my bad. Wait up. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> How you know this? <laughs> Yo. I think we did business. it. Yeah, no, we, I feel like... I was like, that, I think that's the first time I went on XM. I think he was on XM, right? Yeah, and then uh, and then you had your clothesline at that time when you had the pyramid. I think you had the... Like 2013. Yep. Yeah, and then so I... I went to like your Vegas. Uh, oh, the uh, the, was, uh, the, the Magic Show or something. Yeah, the Magic. So I went yeah. to go like cop some free shit because that's the only time I could get yeah, it. Yeah, I remember. This shit was selling out yeah. like crazy everywhere. They bootlegged the shit out of your shit, by the crazy. way. Crazy. <laughs> so I met him there, and then uh, we just been cool. How many, how, how many colleges you been to? Like hundreds. I DJ all of them. What, colleges. Hey, frats like everyone. He, I'm sure he has. What like, colleges? Like frat, like frat shows. Like oh that. yeah. No, you, I haven't done no. College no you've been to college. college. You personally. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah. I ain't like it. Computer yeah, you have that just college sucks. mentality. Hey guy, how are you doing, nerds. buddy? Huh? You have that college addiction. I know. I'm hey like, dude, I'm how are you doing, I'm buddy? Pussy, man. I'm not. Like, <laughs> you know, I don't know. Hey guy, <laughs> where you where, where you going to college? Then? I went to uh, Queens Bar and then I went to uh, CW Post Long Island. Okay, but it was like. I couldn't do it, man. I see y'all. Yeah, I never went to college. Yeah, I mean, and then it's funny when I quit. That's when I met Lil Wayne when he was like fourteen. He had that little click, um, and that's when squad he had, up, squad up. Yeah. And I did their mixtape. Yeah, I they, remember that. They took me to like the hood. Hey, 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 hey. time. Talking all that. What's happening? With, um, oh, 
<laughs> what happened with them, brother Newsom? Oh, Gavin Governor Newsom, Gavin. the governor. Yeah, yeah, he, um... He's signing the bill for not for the, the Weed Act. You can't. You can rap and tell them to say, "I'm gonna kill all you." Die but tomorrow. They, they, they can't use the lyrics in court, which is good. Yeah. You know? So you can That's talk good. about killing them this time. You won't get in trouble. So he's the second mayor to do it because New, New York. I think New York did it first. first. Yeah. yeah. And you gotta do this. Man, what do they do in Atlanta? Atlanta? I mean, it's, it's art. I mean, excuse me. How come they don't do it in Atlanta? Lance bunching. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel that's cool? Like they finally put this out because I mean, yeah, I think that's cool. I mean, it's art. Like that, whether like whether you know, it's real or not, it's still art. It's still you know. I mean, with the still self expression. But <clears throat> well, some of these guys are rapping about what they really did though. Mm, right. But they shouldn't be in trouble over that either. I mean, they killed in the court people, of law. Right? They killed some people. Okay? In the court of law. I mean, you tell on yourself, you tell on yourself, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But I don't crazy? think they should be able to just use any rap uh, against artists, though, like mm -hmm. lyrics in court, you know what I'm saying? I mean, do you think that they push the, the envelope too much when they do that? Like, what you just mean? to make money, like they rap about the exact they did, and they be having AKs on the screen and all that crazy shit. You rapping what they know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> What do you think about that, Mike? When you about see, what? When you see they, they got the gun on the screen. They talk about who they killed. Um, that is, like I said, a particular kind of art, you know? Well, they rap about the ones that got killed and make fun of them. And hey, listen. Is it that desensitized? They didn't now? kill them. If huh? they didn't kill them, they can make as much fun about them as they want. If they didn't personally kill them. Yeah, but the fact that somebody died, they make fun. Like, these kids make fun of other people dying. I don't know. Dying. I don't rap hey, about listen. that. So no, I don't really know. You see that, right? I don't <laughs> listen to it or I don't, I don't rap to that shit, so, you know. Some dark people out there, brother. Yeah. I, th I don't know, man, where rap is going, man. But Rap is going to so go. Nothing's, nothing's going to happen to rap, okay? Rap is going to always be okay. Right. Yeah. Always. It gets a bump in the road every now and then, but it's going to always be okay. So we out to Australia, right? We out? Kiki, <laughs> when are we going to Australia? Oh, yeah, I forgot my felon and shit. They gonna prove you. I know. I always <laughs> they gotta approve Mike. <laughs> I always gotta prove they have to me. Okay, listen, listen. I just wanted to say this to you, Tiger. These are millions and millions of... Hundreds of millions of people right here. See this? Mm -hmm. Talk to them. New album, November 18th. It's too loud, I can't hear you. Straight to tour. We gonna keep having fun, man. I know Australia will be there. That's the name of the tour, too? Yeah, it's too loud. I can't hear too you. Too loud tour. Australian Mike Tyson, heaven. Let's go. All right, this is another episode of Hot Boxing with Mike Tyson. And who cares? And Tiger, thank you very much. <laughs>